Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. Uh, last time we did, I believe, Icy Peak here, and I had a lot of fun with it. Um, this one level was just very... It, it just it just felt like I was playing like a Spyro 1 level, I think it was this one. The one, the one I played last time felt like a Spyro 1 level instead of a Spyro 3 level in, in just the best way. It was delightful. Um, we have actually finished the four main levels here, these four. Oop. Those four there. Uh, Bamboo Terrace, I believe we need an item from the, the next world, or a character from the next world, or whatever. So, we are going to advance. Talking to these people. And gonna do the boss. Uh, yeah, Evening Lake. I think I preferred the way the bosses worked in Spyro 1, where the boss was effectively just another level in the world and you didn't actually have to go do them, you just had to hit the quota. Like, I did them all, but in this game and- oh. Idiotic, worthless fool! I asked you to carry out one simple task and you fail me! I should have known better than to rely on a child. But don't worry about it. I'll deal with them now. These eggs can't be worth all this trouble. Without the dragons, the magic in this world will wither away. Without magic, I'll die. And so will your ever slim chance of becoming a sorceress. Now, watch how a real sorceress dispatches her enemies. Release me from this cage, you merciless miscreants. How would you like some dragon for lunch? <laughs> Well, if I had my club, you'd all be in for... Uh... I guess that's the boss we're about to fight. Anyway, I'm pretty sure Bianca's gonna turn good at the end. That's just the impression I'm getting. <laughs> My tactical instincts told me the sorceress would attack you here, so I flew in to help out. It seems my rocket launchers don't affect this creature, but I can assist you by dropping ammunition. Now get in there and fight the good fight! Okay. Oh, I need to grab these. Oh, no? Maybe? Are, th are those ammunition? Do I charge into them? Oh, I charge into them. Okay. Hey, chicken. Ow. Music's pretty good. Can I charge into those? Look like they have little spikes on them. Won't that hurt me? Ow. Wait, do I super flame now? I'm confused. Oh, it's a super flame power up. Okay, that makes more sense. Excuse me, I need to go get a chicken. Yeah, that one. Give me a chicken. Having a lot of trouble dodging. Oh, now we have purple power-up? What's the purple one do? 
Uh, lasers? Hey, a bird guy, could you drop the ammunition where I am and not where the bad guy is? Okay. Well, that happened. Hey, Monique. I like your hat. Oh, I'm not pressing any buttons. Spyro so automatically got back on the world gig. Because we're headed for evening like. Yeah, the load times in this game are a little much. I think the original was the originals were better about this. They at least didn't have a really long load time when you die because of like reigniting or whatever. I don't know why the remakes are so slow when you die. Like, it should be loading the same level you're already in. It shouldn't need to reload anything. Listen to me, dragon. Spyro, this is serious now. The sorceress is planning a trap for you, and if she catches you, believe me, you don't want to know what she's going to do. Look, I mean, I think I should know. The rest of the eggs. I mean it. Just take Hunter and go back home before. Before. I can't say it. Just go. Yeah, she's trying to protect me. That makes sense. Like, obviously, I, I can't go, but. Oh. It's nice of her to try. But yeah, I haven't got uh, sparks because I took a lot of damage in that fight. So I can't pick up gems until I stand, like, right on top of them. Let me just go find some little critters to burn. Give me a frogs. That's better. Okay, we'll, we'll probably describe everything in this home world. I don't know if we need another character to do that, but we haven't thus far. Is that a rocket? Is the next world in space? <laughs> what? <laughs> This world is, uh, underwater, which makes sense because it has a lake in its name. I wish she had some kind of, uh, breath attack that worked underwater. Like, I know Into the Dragonfly wasn't a great game, but the different types of breath were a neat idea. <sighs> I feel like maybe the underwater filter is a bit too strong. Like, it's a little hard to see what's going on. If you're gonna spend this much time just swimming underwater, it'd be nice to have it be a little less impactful. Like, I know, I know it is all the time, but think about being underwater in Odyssey in like the Lake Kingdom. Y you can see everything just fine. There aren't any weird colors going on. Okay, so you're the guy I have to rescue in this kingdom? Ah, the sorceress has a real prize on her hands here. It took two dozen Rhinox to capture this dim-witted furball. So you'd better believe he's not going to get out cheap. Yeah, sure. Where are you getting all this money, Spyro? <laughs> it's not just lying around on the ground, is it? Uh, is it? 
Ah, what do I care? It's mine now. Uh, it, it, it is a bit. Oh, it's Bentley. Hey, Bentley. Ah, the first rejuvenating breath of freedom. With the humility of Oh, that's an accent. Fellow, I genuflect to my noble deliverer. You're welcome. Uh, it was no big deal, dude. <laughs> After all, it was I who let you out. Why, you brazenly avaricious, duplicitous, larcenous ursine. Now hold on. Take that capitalism. Perhaps... At least. Please do afford me the sublime honor of enjoying your visitation in the nearest future. Yeah, sure. I think I like Bentley. It's like, here's this, you know, uh, dumb guy with a big club, but he talks in enormous words all the time. I like it. <laughs> and the first thing he does is beat up a capitalist, so, you know, that checks out. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, I still got to finish up the hub world before we start looking elsewhere, if I can find everything. Let me see here. I can see most of the levels are underwater. Uh, 24%? Yeah, well, we're getting there. Pirate ship. Definitely be nice to have an underwater attack that doesn't launch you forward. Uh, just for a little more precision. Or fighting enemies down here. Fireworks factory. Okay. Lost fleet? Oh, the actual ship itself is a level. Neat. Uh, yeah, this way. Hey, froggies. I like the music here. Hi again, Spyro. Hi, Zoe. Power-up can make you invincible, but only for a short while. Use it to get by these flame spitters. You'll find an egg when you get past them. Why don't you just fly around? You, you have wings. Hey, Stuart. Oh, you've got a hat as well. I like it. Really does raise some questions about what, why Zoe's not being more helpful than she is. Oops. I have to do that again so I can get over there. Probably, right? Did this guy actually hurt you, or is he like a friend you can hang out with? Oh, okay. Oh, get it, Jonah? Get it? Get it? Oh. Oh, I'm impressed with your skills, Jonah. Anything else in here, or just for some reason an egg? Just an egg, I guess. Thank you, whale. <laughs> That's a bit silly. Uh, looking for treasure. We're getting there. Okay, let's give this another shot. See if we can get around to that next bit. Yeah, the invincibility power-up does not last long at all. Okay. Now we're around here. The life. Again, I don't know why this game has lives. They don't do, do anything. <laughs> uh, up, 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 up. Okay, so we're above the rocket now. 
I need an egg. Hey, Ted. Kind of weird that the when you when you rescue them, it shows like their names, but in the menu here, it shows like where they were, and doesn't show their names. It's like a little inconsistent, I guess. Like if their name's supposed to be like a hint on how to find them, like in Odyssey, then the name should be the hint on how to find them, which it isn't. And you can't see their actual names ever again once you've rescued them. So it's like, it's weird. It's some weird game design, you know? I imagine the original was like this too, but again, I haven't played the original of this game, so... I don't really know for sure. Uh... I think I saw another purple down there. Yeah. I mean, purple. You two green. Oh, I didn't even notice that red one, but I got it. Okay, this is speedway. Let's not go in. I don't I don't I don't like the speedways. I'll, I'll eventually probably give them a go in camera, but uh, uh, <laughs> I don't I don't like them. Uh excuse me. Excuse me, I I already went in here, I don't This is more annoying than taking damage, honestly. Ugh. Oh, jeez. If there were, like, some other reward there replacing the egg, like, an extra life or something, that'd be neat, but th there's not. Nothing there. Just, you, you got eaten by the whale again. Lol. Mm. It wants me to go up. How do I do that? Go down in order to go up in sort of this direction. Oh, hello. Give me a give me a ladder. I definitely prefer Spyro 2's approach of giving Spyro new moves over Spyro 3's approach of unlocking characters. Uh, although I do like some of these characters, I think it's just better. Uh, I'll need to go to Zoe's thing back in World 2, because for some reason those only unlock once you've been there, or once you've gone to the next world, which is weird. Uh, anything over here of interest? Yes. It's Hannah. Hello, Hannah. Oh, I love your bow. Oh, I love your little cartwheel. Love your bow and your little cartwheel. Uh, break the tower wall is the last one. How do I break the tower wall? And there's still some more gems to be found as well. <laughs> well, the tower I had to glide to for glide to the tower was this one, so is there something around here I can break? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Box wants me to dive deeper. I'll dive deeper. Oh, there we go. Found it. <laughs> I think that's everything in the home world. Hey, Stooby. How you doing? Oh. Cute. Okay, uh, let's head back to Midday Gardens so we can do the couple of things we weren't able to do before. And then I think that's probably a video. Depends on how hard the part we can now do in uh, Bamboo Terrace or whatever it is, is I suppose. The adventure continues, by the way, in case you were wondering. Yeah, that's that's just a fact about the adventure. It continues.
Okay, so there are two things we can do here. We can go find the Sparks level, which is up there, uh, which should now be accessible because we've finished this world. For some reason, the Sparks levels don't unlock until you finish the world, which is weird, but uh, we've finished the world, therefore they should be unlocked. Uh, we go around this way, I believe. Just have a bit of a charge, there we go. That's Bamboo Terrace, which we'll be going through shortly, but first I want to do the Sparks levels, so... Here we go. Hey Zoe. Hey Zoe. Spyro. Hi Sparks. I've located another lost egg. If Sparks is up to it, he can try to rescue it from Spider Town. I love Spider Town. Sounds like a great place to go. Um, I guess content warning for arachnophobia? I, I don't know. I'm guessing it, it will probably not be great. How does this work again? Oh yeah, you hold down uh, charge and you just sort of swoop forward, but kind of slowly. Yeah, that's a spider. Ah! Right, yeah, the, the Sparks levels are like, uh, top-down shooter, I guess? Like a shmup? I forget if there's a way to strap, I think there was. Uh, right, yeah, you hold down, um, L button. And then you can shoot without turning around. Also, if you hold B, you do a lot of damage, apparently. I've completely forgotten the Sparks controls because it's been so long. Thanks for the shield and stuff, but honestly, I prefer healing. <laughs> cool healing. That's more like it. Uh, gems we got. We got 200. Okay. Can I break that or do I need something more powerful? Hmm. Do I need to get a key or something?
press the button there. Okay. Also, these guys are out now. I don't love that. <laughs> yeah, I might put some chapters on this video in case you want to skip over the part with all the creepy spiders, because, uh, yeah. Uh, th th they're not great. I don't, I, I don't love it. I'm not, like, especially arachnophobic, but I still don't like it. <laughs> oh, that's why I'm putting with the key? Okay. Did I redo the whole level if I die, or how does it work? Okay, that's not too bad. Like many shmups, you lose, like, your powered-up weapons and stuff when you die, so... You're the likely to die again because you don't have powered-up weapons. <laughs> um... I'm not quite sure they thought that through in a game like this that's not really supposed to be a shmup in the first place, but, you know, whatever. I think this button is what lets the the um the like uh firewalled spider cage out or whatever. Yeah, this one. There we go. There we go. Okay. How are we doing? Not too bad. I sure it's more obvious which uh keys go where though. But yeah, it's not super clear. Why would you put the button that opens your cage outside your cage? It's so silly. Oh god, it's a boss spider. Ah! Okay, yeah, that's pretty sp it's pretty scary. If you have trouble with arachnophobia, just, yeah, don't, I'm, I'm just skip over this whole bit, because, oh my god. Oh my god. Actually, I might respawn just before the boss again, but, oh my god, okay. Oh, they deflect my shots if they're spinning. Okay. Of course they do. That makes perfect sense. I don't have that much health, actually. 
it's not that big a deal provided you attack them at the right times and not while they're spinning. Well, there are uh, a lot of these little spiders. You know that spiders can spit little spiders out of their mouths? True. It's definitely how spiders work. Very scary. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, yeah. Reigniting. And the boss has full health again. Yes. I'm not sure if the deflected shots can destroy the little spiders, or if they're like completely useless once they bounce off the big guy. Or gal? Or spider? I don't know. What, what genders do spiders have? I mean, I've read the spider seas, but I don't think that was very accurate. stop spinning. I wish to harm you. That's why you should stop spinning. Uh, I think it's because it's still a little one, they just keep spinning until I take out all the little ones or something. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it's exactly how it works. I did it! You're free, Tootie! Woohoo! Okay, yeah, you probably want to skip that one, uh, if you're not the biggest fan of spiders. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of spiders. Uh, I'm glad it's over. <laughs> My god. I assume that will upgrade our Sparks gem collecting power like the first one did, though, which is nice. Although it might be something else. It might be different Sparks upgrades. Let's find out. One thing that would be really cool, although I doubt it happens, is like Sparks gets a fourth level of health. That would be very cool. Did I get a reward? Did I get anything? Better have gotten something. Hmm. Like I know I saved it I saved the egg or whatever, but I, I gotta have a prize. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well uh next time we're gonna go to Bambi Terrace because we're just kinda running out of time here. Uh next time we'll smash to the mountaintop and probably get everything else in Bambi Terrace. Uh then we'll head into an evening lake level if we've still got time. If not, we'll do another video. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!